Hi everyone and welcome to this video on buffers. Today we're looking at buffer solutions and how to calculate the pH of a buffer. So first of all, what is a buffer? A buffer is a system which can help maintain a pH even if a small volume of acid or base are added to the system. They are usually made of a weak acid and a salt of the acid. They can also be made with weak bases and the salts of the base. The pH of the buffer is determined by the pKa of the weak acid, which is linked to its dissociation, and also the ratio of the acid to salt concentration. To change the pH of the buffer to the desired pH for your experiment, you would change the composition of concentration of acid and concentration of salt. You can find this equation at the front of your data book. It won't say that it's for buffers, but you just need to remember from the definition of a buffer that it's made of a weak acid and the salt, then you can see this part in the equation. You'll be able to pick it out from that. So looking at our first example here, we have a uh, calculate the pH of a buffer solution formed by mixing 40 centimetres cubed of 0.1 molar ethanoic acid and 60 centimetres cubed of 0.1 molar sodium ethanoate. So the ethanoic acid is our acid and the sodium ethanoate is the salt. So first we'll start by writing out our equation. So you have pH equals pKa minus log to the base 10 of the concentration of acid divided by the concentration of salt. So this is our acid in the purple and our salt is underlined in the green. If you have a look in the data book, you can get the value for the pKa, which is 4.76 for ethanoic acid. We then need to go about calculating the concentration of acid and the concentration of the salt. So the total volume that we have when we add these two together is 100. This will affect the concentration of both of them. Looking at the acid first, we're going to use the equation C1V1 equals C2V2 to work out our concentration. So initially we have 0 0.1 mole per litre and we have 40 centimetres cubed, which is 0 0.04. We're trying to work out the new concentration and the total volume will be 0.1. That means that our concentration of acid is 0 0.04 moles per litre. We do the same thing for the salt. So we have a concentration of 0.1 and we have 60 centimetres cubed. We're trying to work out the new concentration in the new volume of 0.1, which means that the concentration of the salt in the 100 centimetres cubed will be 0 0.06 moles per litre. We're then going to put these into the equation. So we'll have minus log to the base 10, and we'll have 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.06. So this gives us 4.76 minus negative 0 0.176. So overall, we have an answer of 4.94. This would be the buffer at which the, the pH at which the buffer would maintain, even if you added a little bit of acid or a little bit of base. Pause the video now and try this example. This is another example using the same process. We're using the equation pH equals pKa of the acid minus log to the base 10 of the acid concentration divided by the salt concentration. So here we have a total volume of 100 centimetres cubed and we have a concentration of propanoic acid of 0.1 mole per litre. So we already have the concentration of the propanoic acid. To this, we're adding 0.2 moles of sodium propanoate. So as we're, it's written as 0.2 moles, we can assume that that must be getting added into the 100 centimetres cubed as a solid. 
So for the sodium propanoate, which is the salt, we're going to work out the concentration using moles divided by volume. So the moles are 0.2 and the volume is 0.1 as we're putting the centimetres cubed into litres, which gives us a value of 2. So putting these values into the equation, we'll have pH equals 4.87, that's the pKa of propanoic acid, minus log to the base 10 of 0.1 divided by 2, which gives you a buffer pH of 6.17. How does a buffer work? Here we're looking at a buffer made from sodium ethanoate and ethanoic acid. Because sodium ethanoate is a salt, it will completely dissociate when it's in water. This gives a very high concentration of ethanoate ions. You also have ethanoic acid, which is an equilibrium because it's a weak acid. So you'll only have a small amount of dissociation. We have a large number of ethanoate ions which will push this equilibrium back towards the left, so you'll mainly have undissociated ethanoic acid. If you were to add in some H+, some acid, into the system, you would have this react with the ethanoate ions, and this will produce some more ethanoic acid. And although this is an equilibrium, so you will get a small drop in pH because some more H+, will be produced, the majority of the H plus ions will be removed by the ethanoate ions. If you're to add a base into the, rea into the reaction in the form of an alkali, you'll add OH minus ions. Two things can happen here. This may react with the ethanoic acid to form water and more ethanoate ions, thus getting rid of the OH minus, or it could react with the H+, plus, again, to produce water. If we were to produce water, taking away these H+, plus, then we'll get a shift to the right of this equilibrium, and this will continue to happen until all of the OH- have been used up. In summary, buffers are systems which are made of weak acids and salts of those acids. They are used to keep the pH of a system constant. You often find them in biological systems. You can calculate the pH of the buffer using the equation that you can find at the front of your data book. I hope you found this video on buffers useful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter for regular updates on new videos. Thank you.